Phil, defeat this afternoon, but we really must feel hard done by after that. Uh, yeah, very much so. I mean, it's it seems to be synonymous of uh, what's happened at the club over the last three, four, five months, you know, where we kind of get a win at home. Uh, we asked for a response from the crowd, in my word, they give us it, you know, and, and I think it spilled onto the pitch and the players responded to the crowd, you know, and, and the first half performance was worthy of uh, of the 1 0 scoreline at half time. But you don't win a game at half time, you don't win a game in 45 minutes, you win a game in 90 minutes. We didn't want anything to change, we didn't want. Um, you know, we knew they were going to try something different to make a change formation, change personnel. They've got a good squad, uh, they're playing with confidence, etc., etc. And all of them things are sort of counterproductive to what we are. You know, at the moment, we're not playing with confidence. We're looking for that win and the, we're hoping that we're going to get that next win instead of known. Um, good players know. And um, I thought we had a lot of good players in the first half. Second half was a massive decision by the referee. Uh, not to give a penalty, he, he gives a corner and they score uh, from the resulting corner and you can always say, you know, another manager moaning about fine lines, that's exactly what I'm moaning about, it's a fine line of, of a, I don't know, of a referee without going overboard here, of a referee sort of pandering to the big boys, you know, and what I mean by the big boys, the boys at the top, the ones that are probably tickling them with comments and niceties about how well he's playing and this that and the other and you're probably going to get that from a team that's playing well whereas our boys are fighting for everything they're scrapping for everything and we can't really uh, we can't get a point because of it uh, but I've got to say it the lads again um, probably for 65 70 minutes raised a, a decent gallop but um, uh, Worrell tended to cause us more problems down the right hand side our left Consequently, I had to make changes because of that. Joe came on and did OK and, and snuffed out that that opportunity and, and we, we then finished the game strong again. But for them to get to the byline and slide a ball across the, the goal like that just is unacceptable defending. And, you know, it has to be pointed out, unfortunately, to the, the main protagonists and uh, it will be on Monday. In in terms of, you know, you say when, it's, when a side is reaching around for confidence, it was full of you know, heart and determination and, you know, you must be pleased with the endeavour and the, the, you know, the desire this afternoon. I think heart heart and desire and all them words you just mentioned got me a career for 700 games. I didn't have the ability to play higher level. I was just a, you know, genuine kind of kind of fullback, if you like, or, or footballer. Um, and it got me through my career. When you get then surrounded by a little bit of quality, you want to play with that. Of course, you want to go higher. You want to play, show everybody that you can play higher. Uh, but desire and, and endeavour and heart and hard work, that's going to get us out of the trouble that we're in. That's the only thing that will get us out of the trouble that we're in and, and then the little bits of quality will start to come because the players start believing and the confidence grows etc etc. So it ain't rocket science by any stretch of the imagination but you know the players are playing under pressure and I'm trying to take that pressure off them but with performances, um, sorry, probably 75, 80, 85% the performance today was worthy of getting something from the game against a very good team. And, and the game was very stretched towards the end. It felt like a real end of season game, didn't it? It really did feel like it could go either way. They brought 600, 700 fans and you can tell, you know, they, they're driving for promotion and we're playing with fear. Um, fear of relegation. You're looking behind you all the time. You're looking over your shoulder and worried what's coming behind. And we, We've got to try and stop that, but it's the situation we're in. So the, the players that we've got need character. We need character out there. We need characters that are going to play in a certain manner. And if we can ask Port Vale big questions, we can ask Crawley big questions. And then the next home game will be an easier encounter because of the result at Crawley. But it's a stepping stone, you know. We had 55, 40, you know, 50, 55 minutes against Orient. We've got 65 minutes today where I was quite happy with it, you know. Or even if you want to say 75, 80%, I was quite happy with it. It's just that little bit of um, moments in a game that are not going for us at the moment. But if we keep on doing what we're doing, um, that'll turn a corner. Just finally, Josh Kerr back into the starting eleven after his injury, and he really did take his goal well, and that's a bonus for the running now. <coughs> um, I think it was one or two moans and groans when he came off, and rightly so, because he was he was still on the pitch and he was still doing it. But he just came across the to the touchline and the dugout and just said, 
I'm done. I'm, you know, and he had a shot just before he came off. <laughs> and I'm thinking, are you really? Are you really? <laughs> you know, but um, eight weeks he's been out. It was, it was the right decision. Things were starting to cramp up, whether it was his calves, hamstrings, whatever. Uh, so all of them things were, I think, the right decision. But then you want the subs to come on and make an impact, you know. And in terms of the physical side, you know, running, running stats, they did make an impact. But I want them to make an impact with the ball and ask questions in the final third. We didn't, we didn't ask enough when the changes were made.